Kelsey Plum, trade or no trade? Well, that's a big question so far this season. I'm WNBA Jones. Uh, look, listen, the stars are 0 and 14. Kelsey Plum, the number one draft pick out of Washington, gets drafted by the stars, gets injured preseason. Two weeks later, plays her first games, uneventful minutes. She's lucky to get 10, 15 minutes per game. And hey, I fully realize that not every rookie could just bulldoze the WNBA like Candace Parker and Simone Augustus and a few others and just take over immediately. I know that, but still. She had the ankle injury, but I didn't know how severe it was until I saw her in a cast on the sideline. And I said, okay, this is worse than a regular ankle sprain. This is going to take some time. She finally appears in the first game. Nothing to write home about. More games here and there. You see brief glimpses of what she was able to do in Washington, but still nothing all that impressive. Uh, so then I'm thinking, well, she may not be 100%. And then I see a picture of her with her ankle swollen before a game, before the game in Seattle. And I'm like, okay, well then, why is she playing in the first place? And starting at that, to me, it's worse, it's much worse to have a player come in, start for a couple of minutes, and then leave than it would be for someone to just stay on the sideline until her ankle complete or any other injury for that matter completely heals maybe kelsey plum is 100 percent, but they don't know how to fit her in i don't know what the deal is maybe the agent maybe kelsey plum's agent is putting pressure on coach v vicky johnson to play her maybe that's you know maybe she's trying to appease the fans vicky johnson and the gm ruth riley i don't know what the deal is but i think some changes have to be made and i wouldn't argue with anyone who feels that Kelsey Plum should be traded. I, I would not. She's a great player. We all know this. One of the best. I mean, she's broken all kinds of records. But that was college, and this is the WNBA. And, you know, the stars want to turn her into a different type of player, which I agree with because you, at five foot eight, she can't just look to score all the time is it just not going to work the w is just too physical and too smart defensively to allow that to happen uh you know becky hammond who was the star guard before before kelsey before mariah uh, she was amazing because not only could she pass she could score and she kept defenses on their toes kelsey is far away from becky hammond she needs to develop and expand her skill set, and that's not going to happen overnight. And because the stars are 0 and 14, I think they have to make something happen now. Uh, if they were 6 and 8 or 7 and 7, I would give Kelsey, a, you know, I, I would keep Kelsey on the roster. Yeah. But at 0 and 14, listen, not only do they, should they trade Kelsey, I think they should really trade De Souza. Uh, the woman is six foot five, and not a, a slender six foot five, mind you, but a well built six five. And she is not the same Erica De Souza that she was when she was playing for the Atlanta Dream. Missed rebounds, not able to get back on defense as smoothly as she used to. Maybe it's age, but listen, as I said, I mean she's a well built six foot five center. Her one of her calves would make two of mine. That's how solid Erica de Souza is, and yet her presence has not been felt at all on the San Antonio Stars roster. So they need to make changes there. As far as uh, as far as Coach Vicky Johnson is concerned, hey, if if they fire her, I wouldn't be surprised. I was so happy for her because she had paid her dues for so long as an assistant coach, and when she got the call to become the head coach, I said, great, you know, long overdue. But with the woes and the doldrums that this team is in, you know, I, I don't see Dan Hughes, I, I wouldn't see Dan Hughes standing for this. Uh, I really wouldn't. And that's not to compare Dan Hughes to Vicky in any way, shape or form, but uh, 
doesn't look good. This team is not an expansion team. Uh, it's not like they're the, they're not the 2008 Atlanta Dream that started off the season. What was it, zero and 18? Worst start in WNBA history. They're not the the Tulsa Shock who lost 28 and 31 games when they left Detroit for Tulsa. I, you know, this is a well-established franchise, and they need to make some moves. It's been a long time since they've been competitors. Uh, you know, I realize that they don't have Becky Hammond and Sophia Young and Jane Appel Marinelli anymore, but but all the more reason to get busy in the front office. They actually have a more exciting team than other teams in the WNBA who have obviously won more games. I mean, Mariah's fun to watch. So is K-Mac, Mo Curry, Isabel Harrison. When she's on, she's on. You know, same with Kayla Alexander. But they need a more of a, a core. Uh, I think Mo Curry has to step up more, not just with her scoring, but with her leadership on the court. If not, then I would trade for another veteran. I don't know who that would be. I mean, I don't even know who would uh, would want Kelsey at this point, and that doesn't have anything to do with the fact that she's not a great player because we all know she is, but it's all about what teams need. I was thinking maybe uh, the Phoenix Mercury uh, for Kelsey and in exchange get a veteran or someone who's played the game for at least uh, maybe seven years who's a quality vet. Another team, I don't know, maybe New York, but they already have Piff, Washington. I think her playing for Washington would be good, but it depends on who they give up, uh, who they're willing to give up. I don't know, but I really think that Vicki Johnson, I think that her days are just as numbered as Kelsey's and Erica DeSouza's on that squad. But, hey, could be wrong. Uh, maybe the organization has more patience than than I think they have. But it, it's a well-established franchise, so I don't know how much patience they're, they're going to have. I do know that, uh, we, you know, the recent news of Diamond the Shields turning pro, of course, she can't just step into the WNBA tomorrow. There's a process, which is absolutely fair. Uh, teams need to have an equal shot at her. It looks like uh, she'll be the number one draft pick next year. Although, if I'm San Antonio, I wouldn't I wouldn't go for it for a couple of different reasons. But I wouldn't go for Diamond. I would go for a big Asia Wilson from South Carolina. That's a possibility. That's a big possibility. She's a big who comes with a lot of recognition, and I think she would be a good fit for San Antonio because that's that's what they need. Because I don't see Kelsey being a number one draft pick coming off the bench and playing five minutes a game that makes no sense no sense i mean if the the ankle injury was that bad she'd be on the bench in street clothes she may not be a hundred percent but she's playing she's not in street clothes she's playing in the time given to her she is out there i think she goes but you might disagree once again this is wnba jones peace